6G is no longer a distant idea, it's already taking shape. This isn't just the next wireless upgrade, it's the foundation for a global transformation. With terabit level speeds, microsecond latency, and tight integration with AI and quantum computing, 6G promises to reshape industries, economies, and even global power structures. Countries like China, the US, and others are scrambling to lead the race, and the stakes couldn't be higher. In this video, we'll unpack what 6G really is, who's ahead in the race, and why this is one of the biggest stories in tech right now. Six G isn't just an upgrade; it's a reimagining of what wireless technology can be. Where five G gave us faster speeds and connected devices, six G takes it further, enabling a world where machines, humans, and AI systems communicate in real time across massive networks with near zero delay. Let's talk speed first. Six G is expected to deliver data rates of up to one terabit per second (TPS). That's roughly 100 times faster than current five G networks. This means transferring an entire 4K film or even complex medical imaging in seconds. That kind of bandwidth changes everything, from personal streaming to industrial automation. Even more impressive is the latency microseconds instead of milliseconds. That's near-instant communication, which is critical for real-time applications like autonomous vehicles, remote surgery, AR VR environments, and precision robotics. We're talking about machines interacting so quickly that they appear almost sentient, what makes this possible? 6G networks will utilize the terahertz frequency spectrum, 100 gigahertz to 3 terahertz. This high frequency range offers incredible bandwidth but also presents new engineering challenges. Terahertz waves have a short range and can be absorbed by obstacles, meaning we'll need a dense infrastructure of advanced antennas and potentially satellite support to ensure coverage. But 6G is more than raw performance, it's about intelligence. Networks will be AI native able to self-optimize, predict failures, and even learn user behavior to allocate resources dynamically. Combined with quantum computing, 6G systems may soon process and secure information with power and protection never seen before. There's also talk of digital twins, virtual representations of physical objects updated in real time through 6G sensors. This can revolutionize fields from urban planning to medicine, creating models so precise they mimic reality. The development of 6G isn't just a technological competition, it's a race for global influence, economic control, and national security. Leading the way is China, which has made 6G a formal part of its national development strategy. In 2024, China successfully established three 6G technical standards under the International Telecommunication Union ITU, and is currently leading in 6G patents and research publications. Chinese institutions like Huawei, China Mobile and CICE Mobile are deeply invested, and government funding is massive. China has already tested satellite-to-ground laser transmissions at speeds of 100 gigabits per second and has conducted advanced field experiments using terahertz frequencies. These moves are designed not just to innovate, but to set global benchmarks. On the other side, the United States is focused on protecting its existing leadership. It has formed the Next-G Alliance, a coalition led by major players like Qualcomm, AT&T, and Verizon, tasked with driving 6G innovation and standards in North America. The U.S. is pushing hard to maintain an edge through innovation, while also trying to contain China's telecom influence globally, particularly in developing nations. Meanwhile, Europe is playing catch-up but not sitting idle. The EU's HexaX project, coordinated by Nokia and involving over 20 organizations, aims to establish Europe as a serious 6G player by 2030. However, due to slower 5G rollout, European countries have shown more conservative timelines and performance targets for 6G. Japan and South Korea, both early leaders in 5G, are taking an aggressive approach. Japan has allocated funding for beyond 5G research and is partnering with international players. South Korea's SK Telecom and Samsung are developing terahertz-based systems and AI-integrated network architectures, planning pre-commercial trials by 2028. Even India is stepping in with its Bharat 6G vision, collaborating with Finland, the US, and Japan, and involving companies like Reliance, Geo, and Airtel in the R&D ecosystem.
While 6G holds enormous promise, it also opens the door to profound challenges. Let's start with the technical hurdles. Operating in terahertz frequencies isn't easy. Signals at this level have extremely short range and are easily disrupted by walls, water, and even air. This means 6G will require a completely new infrastructure, including advanced small cell antennas, satellite integration, and AI-enhanced routing systems. That's a major investment and a major risk. Power consumption is another concern. Although 6G may be more efficient per byte, the sheer volume of data and number of connected devices could make it far more energy-intensive. Without sustainable design, we risk creating a technology that accelerates climate damage while trying to advance society. Then there's security. A 6G-powered world will be hyper-connected, homes, hospitals, cars, and even governments will be part of a single living network. That makes cyber attacks and AI-driven espionage real threats. Quantum computing could offer powerful encryption, but also the power to break existing security systems. Privacy is perhaps the biggest ethical concern. With read-time data collection on every movement, behavior, and transaction, 6G networks could become the ultimate surveillance tool. Authoritarian governments might use this to tighten control, while even democratic states face the temptation to monitor citizens more closely than ever. Another big challenge is digital inequality. Advanced 6G infrastructure will be expensive to deploy, especially in rural or underdeveloped areas. If left unchecked, this could widen the gap between the connected and the disconnected, limiting opportunities for education, healthcare, and economic participation in poorer regions. And finally, standardization and collaboration are key concerns. The International Telecommunication Union ITU, and 3GP are working on a unified 6G vision, but global tensions, especially between the US and China, risk fragmenting the technology ecosystem. If countries adopt incompatible systems, the global internet could splinter into rival zones, undermining everything from commerce to diplomacy. The path to 6G is filled with opportunity, but also riddled with complexity. To realize its full potential, we'll need open innovation, international trust, and a strong commitment to equity and ethics. If we fail, the most powerful network ever created could just as easily become the most dangerous. 6G is more than a tech upgrade. It's the next frontier in global power, innovation, and human experience. From China's aggressive push to the US innovation race, and Europe and India building strong partnerships, the race is heating up. Each country is not just building networks, they're shaping the rules of tomorrow's digital world. With promises of terabit speeds and real-time intelligence, 6G could revolutionize how we live, but only if we manage its risks wisely. From ethics to access, and security to sustainability, the future depends not just on who wins the race, but on how we all choose to run it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.